Welcome back to CBS Mornings. In our series we call Protecting the Planet, we've got some good news this morning in the fight to save threatened bee populations. Did you know the bee population is being threatened? Yep. The U.S. government recently approved the world's first vaccine for honeybees. We rely on those insects to pollinate the crops that provide much of our food supply. As senior national and environmental correspondent Ben Tracy shows us, scientists hope that this breakthrough could be key to saving a crucial species. In California's Central Valley, massive orchards of almond trees are blooming and buzzing with activity. I can hear them buzzing around us. Yeah, they're busy at work. Brian Ashurst runs the Ashurst Bee Company. He's a fourth generation beekeeper. How many bees do you keep? We run about 27,000 colonies. His bees are part of one of the largest pollination events on the planet. California produces more than 80% of the world's almonds, and each blossom is pollinated by a bee. Oh, see, that's a nice looking frame. And Ashurst's bees are very busy. Uh, we do broccoli, we do avocados, we do watermelons, we do onion seed, we do carrot seed. That's a lot. Yeah, there's quite a bit that goes, goes on. Bees pollinate one third of the food grown in the United States, essential to producing an estimated $15 billion worth of crops annually. But bee colonies are collapsing due to disease, parasites, pesticides, and even climate change fueled droughts, which dry up the water and flowers they need to survive. They're just decimated. Sometimes 50%, I've heard guys losing 70%. So we're constantly trying to figure out how can we reduce these losses. Jurg Meyer is a professor of zoological medicine at the University of Georgia. And we can informally also call you a beekeeper? Oh, absolutely, I'm a certified beekeeper, yeah. Open it up carefully. Hello, bees. He somehow convinced me to take a look at his teaching hives. You're not noticing that a lot of them attack you, right? So they're really good. Well, maybe in five minutes that might change. <laughs> he constantly inspects these to make sure there are no signs of diseases, like the dreaded American fowl brood. Doesn't sound good. No. What exactly is this? <laughs> so it's a, it's a bacterial disease. And what happens after a few days, it's so bad that those little developing bees, the brood, dies and they die and it smells really foul. So you have foul brood, foul smelling brood. It's so bad the government requires infected hives and all beekeeping equipment to be burned and buried. There is no cure for the disease, and until now, no vaccine to prevent it. So we literally had to start from scratch. Annette Kleiser is CEO of Dalon Animal Health, which partnered with the University of Georgia to develop the world's first honeybee vaccine. How challenging was it to figure out a vaccine for a bee? Well, we were the first ones to do this. There was no handbook. It was very challenging. Because unlike humans and animals, insects don't create antibodies. So scientists have long thought vaccines simply won't work. But in the lab, they discovered bees have a primitive immune system, and exposing a queen bee to some of the dead bacteria through her food created immunity in the hive. I mean, it's like magic. You, you vaccinate the queen and she passes it on onto the, the millions of offspring that make the colony. So far, they have not seen any side effects or impacts on food products such as honey. The hope is this breakthrough will pave the way for other vaccines to control all sorts of harmful viruses and pests. That's good. Brian Ashurst says it won't solve all of the problems killing bees, but he's optimistic. Are you willing to give this vaccine to your bees? Yeah, I'm willing to try it out. I think because we're all looking for answers for things, we're willing to try things out. Because the one thing we do know is that without bees, these fields would be a lot less fertile. For CBS Mornings, I'm Ben Tracy in California's Central Valley. Oh, I'm rooting for the bees. If not Me for too. honey, I wouldn't be able to get my kids to eat the like brown, healthy cereal we put in the bowl every morning and then slather it with a whole bunch of honey. This is the coolest story. I was going to say, but I love the behind the scenes look of what they're doing. Yeah, 100%. And just population. the notion Nicely of done, ben. human ingenuity and science, and you figure out a way to you know, uh, vaccinate an entire bee population. Yes. That is so cool. Yeah. Really cool, Ben. Thank you.